Hello and welcome. This is Asus John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Glad you could join me. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be looking at the continuation of working with graphics. And instead of just layering things and making them look cool, we're actually going to layer them and we're going to use them differently. Um, we're going to use what we're going to layer this time is image views. And when we get done with the image views, we're going to be able to click on them and uh, just going to use Toast to show that we actually clicked on them. But you know, you could do anything within there uh, that you know how to do. So uh, I've already created this and I'll have this up on my website. It's pretty simple. The only really finicky bit about it is I use the gravity center uh, so that it would be centered and I could go off of that. Now one of the things that I did have to do uh, is because it, it looks really weird when you turn this sideways. Uh, well, without <laughs> I created a second one and modified it so that it would look good uh, turned landscape, and that's something that you're going to end up having to do uh, with a lot of your things. You're going to have to create different different concepts of the same thing in order for when the user to come to your app and work with it, and they turn their phone sideways, things should look good sideways as as they look standing up. So that's just one of the things you're going to have to deal with. And so I fixed that. And if you want to come in here and the first time when you import this or create your own, what I suggest you do is just, you know, go in here and then don't create the landscape view and just flip it sideways and see what it looks like because it does look a little weird. Um, with the landscape view, I had to do a little bit of layout width and layout height uh, so that I could stretch things just a little bit. Uh, I am not uh, a huge graphics person, although I like to tinker. Uh, so my graphics um, were a little bit off. They should have been a little wider here in the center in order to cover all possibility, but they weren't. Or the squares could have been a little bit smaller. Um, but I, I adjusted for it, so it does look pretty good both ways. So now let's get into the main Java, because that's, that's where the magic is. And again, like our last tutorial, the first thing that appears is the first thing that is the bottom layer. And the very last thing is the top layer. Let's get in here and look at the Java. Now I have already begun this and it's I think it's a lot easier if I have code down here and just basically repeat it uh, with the other options. Well, we're gonna be using the image views in order to get things to work. And so we create the private image view blue, green, red, and yellow, uh, and they correspond with our buttons, well, with our patches of colors that we're going to be using similar to buttons. And then we come down here and I created this protected void on create, bundle, saved instance, super on create, very standard stuff, and you use activity main. And then blue equals, because it's an image view, end image view, and then find view by ID, r.id.bluesquare, r. Now if we'll go back in here and look at our layout, there's our blue right here, and I've named it blue square right here, sqr. And I did that because it also comes up with sq for some reason, and we don't want to get the two confused. All right, so what we're gonna do is basically, I'm gonna take this line I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to take uh, these variables, and I'm going to copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. There, we've got our, our, our variables created in memory. There is, as always, almost always at least, within Java, s several different ways to do the same exact thing, um, and it depends on what you need in your uh, future uses and things of that nature which ones you're going to use. So for this example, I am actually going to show you two different ways to use the set on click listener and get a result. Um, I'm going to show you the set on click listener the long way and then I'm going to show you the shorter way which is the switch way. Um, but first we're going to do the, uh, the long way the way that we've done it before so you should be familiar with it. And if you go up here I put in the uh, I assign the variables to the image view because that's what we're using as a clickable item is the image view. 
Uh, this is our standard override, protect, and all that. And here are our, our variables again, and I'm making them individual view, and I'm finding view by the r.id, the blue square, the green square. And if you go back in here, you'll find that's what we name the each an individual piece, SQR, not to be confused with uh, the actual graphics names them themselves, which are just SQ. So we're going to do the old uh, version that we've done before first, so we're going to skip this section because uh, in the versions that we've done before, we're going to just do red and yellow. Uh, the set on click listener is done here rather than all on a group up here. So basically what I'm going to do is just copy this except I'm going to do it for yellow. So it's going to be yellow dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and then we are going to enter And then we're going to do the override. Override. And as you notice, it's not doing any of this automatically. Sometimes it will. And for some reason, sometimes it doesn't. And I may have clicked something, uh, something wrong somewhere along the way. New. I don't think so. It looks the same to me. So we'll just carry on. Public void on click view v another curly brackets and this is where we're going to put our toast toast make text uh, get application context comma we're going to have it say yellow comma toast dot length short and then dot show and then close and that should be what we need but somewhere along the line I've messed up with a kind of missed a bracket in there it was probably what was preventing it from auto filling all right now our next method you'll notice what we're going to put on next. This is all within the void on create. We have to put it outside. So just keep that in mind. Because this, this, we can run this all right, right now and see how this runs. And as you see, when we click on yellow, the yellow comes up. We put click on red, the red comes up. So that does work. And we still have yet to do the green, nothing happens, and I'll show you that in a second. All right, so let's go do the green. Now, if we were doing all colors, all the colored buttons this way, it would be a short list. Uh, it would look pretty much uh, like this, but with the set on click listener this. So we're gonna do green dot set on click listener this. That sets that up. And I commented out here uh, what would have been here if we were going to do all of them at the same time. So you'll have that in your code if you wanted to erase these and see how it worked. Then we're going to go down here to our outside. I'm going to do another override public void on click. And we're going to use the switch. Now it's curly, black, curly brackets. And then switch bracket v dot get id open close close bracket curly bracket and then we're going to use case and this basically repeats itself for every case case r dot id dot and because we're green we're going to use green square and then colon and then put whatever you want to happen here in this case we're going to use toast make text 
get to application context, comma, I'm going to have it say green, and then comma, and then toast, and then length, short, and then of course dot show to get it to show. And then we'll close it, and that's all there is to it, and then we run it. All right, then you've got your blue, you click on it, blue. You've got your green, you click on it, green. You got your yellow, you click on it, yellow. You got your red, click on it, you've got red. Now you have two different arrows in your quiver of tools and abilities on how to do these things and how to get this on-click uh, stuff down pat and how to use it effectively and quickly. I hope this has been helpful. I thought it was kind of cool. I like the layering and things of that nature. And, uh, and I also wanted to show you when you turn it sideways, it also works. So there it is. It's cool. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a great time and learned something. This is Ace of John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Uh, glad you were here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up.